dude it, deep water soloing so stoked when john told me that th that there was deep water soloing up in salt lake city utah i think i was like watching like a tiktok or youtube or some shit and i brought it up to him and he was like oh yo we have that like up here in the salt lake area that we can go to and it also turns out there's deep water soloing here in the arizona area like in the phoenix area i had no idea the gatekeepers are real, man. That's why I'm posting these videos to show people cool shit. So I can spread the knowledge, spread the wealth, you know? I know I said it before, though I'll say it again. It was my first time. I had really no idea what to expect. I mean, kind of, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. I mean, you, you watch it, you look at it and you know what to expect, right? Though you don't know if you're gonna be fully prepared. <laughs> So I didn't know if I was going to be fully prepared or like what to do, but it's so simple. It's so, so freaking simple. So we rented paddle boards from like level nine sporting goods, like right before you leave out to like the Kazi Reservoir Lake area. It's like right there before you go in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so you can rent paddle boards for the day, like one of those pump up paddle boards. <laughs> dude oh, yeah. so fucking exhausting to do it's a workout on top of pumping that shit up it was so freaking windy that day so when we park and try to paddle our way out of there dude we were like paddling against like some headstrong wind man it was so freaking windy that day <laughs> On the plus side, I, I don't remember what day it was, like, of the week, or what day in general. <laughs> Though there was, like, nobody on the water. Like, literally, like, maybe five people in total. It was, like, basically no one. We had the whole freaking river. River? <laughs> we had the whole freaking lake to ourselves, basically. Like, anywhere we wanted to go we could go and not have to like wait on people if we wanted to jump off some shit we could jump off some shit whenever it's so peaceful and relaxing besides that fucking wind <laughs> another thing to note it was like a really low water day and you could tell too whenever you look at the like side of the hill or mountain or whatever the rocks you could see kind of like where the water level normally is at and then like where it's at now. <laughs> I mean, it's really like no like big deal or whatever. We were still able to climb and jump off cliffs. So it really didn't affect us really. is more so of like what we climbed because whenever we come back later, like a couple years later, we end up climbing different routes for sure because the water was a lot higher. So we ended up cli climbing higher up on the rock, whereas now, obviously with the water lower, we just climbed lower shit. Though, <laughs> something we didn't do, and I didn't do, I just kind of took John's word for it, is I didn't dive down below to see and make sure like there's no rocks that we're gonna jump into. John just said, yeah, people jump from here. And I just kind of took his word for it. <laughs> Dude, I put my fucking life in his hands, just like, okay people jump from here john said so i guess i'll jump from here without diving down and checking myself i mean i don't think he's he's like trying to set me up for failure like he doesn't have it out for me but you know you just always kind of you should be sure you know so i didn't do it though i'd recommend if you're gonna jump off cliffs or do any sort of like cliff diving you know swim down below make sure <laughs> you know what's down, where you're gonna jump into. Now, as far as the climbing goes, I'm basically the camera guy when it comes to filming all this shit. And so I don't get footage of myself whenever I'm climbing. <laughs> and the other guys don't really care about making content. So <laughs> they don't tell me when they're about to climb, they just like start doing shit. And then I'm like, oh, let me start recording. <laughs> so I don't have all the climbs. So I do have one of the climbs that we did uh, of John climbing like this vertical wall that uh, we ended up climbing. At the same time, I'm trying to hold on to the rock to make sure I'm not floating away. It's windy. I I'll say that a hundred more times throughout this video. It was a windy fucking day. <laughs> so I was holding on to the rock to make sure I wasn't like floating away. And my camera was like super fucked up. <laughs> So I'm posting it like where it's showing true to like the angle, but it's going to look super fucked up, but it's going to be true to like more of like the angle of the rock. Because if I post it like full on square, it's going to look like he's climbing overhang or super slabby and it's not. It's super vertical. It really just had like this kind of like crux at the very beginning and then just kind of figuring out your feet after that, but super fun. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. 
Oh yeah. That's it, man. That was the crux. Yeah, and then yeah, make your way right. Nice, hell yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. Then the best part, of course, once you top out a boulder, deep water sewing, is you get a fucking jump off the cliff, man. And these rocks were hot. I was nervous a little bit. So yeah, I mean, I get like a little nervous, of course, doing it. Though, also just do it, you know? You gotta accept that fear and adrenaline and just take it and harness it and then just jump, fly, be free. And it's so much fun. Bam. Just do it. Okay, so if you ever get to top of a, like a cliff jumping area and like everyone's doing it, you know it's like safe. Or, I mean, safe enough where people are jumping. <laughs> I mean, anything can happen though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so I mean, down below, it's always going to look like not so bad. When you get up there, it's gonna feel like way higher than it actually is. Just take a deep breath. Just don't overthink it and just jump you know it's going you're gonna feel that like that rush i don't know if you've been on a roller coaster but you're gonna feel it like oh shit <laughs> for sure though you just gotta jump and don't overthink about it don't spend a long time thinking about it you don't even have to do a countdown just look line up make sure you're jumping where you need to jump and then just go once you get it done it's just like damn that was so fucking easy if you start to build it up and if you stand on top of the rock and you just keep staring down it's gonna make it worse <laughs> you just gotta go for it also though i mean if you're really not feeling it then just don't do it you know no pressure don't let other people pressure if you really really don't feel comfortable doing it just don't do it man it's not that big of a deal it's a lot of fun though. Just do it. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> now, what all do you need if you're going to go deep water soloing? That's what I was thinking when I was going out because I've never done it before. And I was like, damn, I don't even know what all to bring. <laughs> So let me help you out. One, for sure, you need a way to get out there, of course, to the rocks. So whether that's like someone's boat, if you have rich friends, <laughs> or just like a paddle boat, a paddle board, like we, we got. It was like a day rental. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was like 50 or 100. It's something like that. <laughs> Maybe 50. I can't I can't remember. <laughs> I'll post a link to like the store that we went to at the Kazi Reservoir area if you end up going to that area so you can rent paddle boards from them and check it out. But yeah, so you need something to get out to the rock, of course, because I mean, it would be super dangerous to like swim across the fucking lake, you know? <laughs> you need your climbing shoes and then you can just like wear your regular climbing shoes you know get them wet whatever <laughs> and then if you're like me and you climb a chalk like you have to have a chalk bring your chalk <laughs> john climbs without chalk i don't know how he does it he's had like a little tiny bag of chalk last him an entire fucking year i don't know how i go through multiple bags of chalk a year i i need it i need it <laughs> and if you're going to bring chalk so i i i'm not like a pro 
I've only gone a couple times, so this is based off of a couple times experience. <laughs> what I've done is I just put my chalk in my regular little chalk bag inside of a Ziploc bag <laughs> or like a waterproof bag. And then I'll paddle out to where we're gonna be, stick my hand in, get chalked up, do the climb. <laughs> I don't take like a bag with me. I don't take a bag with me when I go bouldering anyway. I just chalk up once and then do the climb. I think sometimes people bring out like waterproof bags if they're doing like super long routes and put like just like a little bit of chalk in the bag and then go with that. But not me, I just like chalk up once, leave my chalk on the paddle board and then climb up. In addition to that Ziploc bag for your chalk, I'd recommend bringing another sort of like waterproof bag for like your phone or whatever shit <laughs> that you bring out with you. And that's literally it besides like typical lake shit like sunscreen, sunglasses, shorts, <laughs> swim gear. As far as climbing goes, I mean, just treat it like a climbing day, really. I'd say the biggest difference is having that like waterproof bag for your chalk and then just a paddle board. Albie even got in on some deep water soloing and some climbing, super dope. He ended up taking a line up the rock, super cool, super proud of him for going up there and doing that. I mean, the left is harder, but yeah, water to the left. Yeah, try to find a foothold to your left and make your way out that way. Yeah, you don't want to fall back. Fall to your left. Oh, hell yeah. And now he was a little nervous jumping off, so he had to pretend his dog was drowning and he had to jump off to save him. <laughs> <laughs> After fucking around with some climbing there, we ended up paddling to the other side of the lake to do some more cliff jumping. And I don't know, I think I feel like that one was a lot, not a lot higher, but I feel like that one was higher. There wasn't really like any climbing going on on that side. It was basically straight cliff jumping. Yeah, this is probably, honestly, probably the best lake here just because it's like, it's all a ravine. So, I mean, there's even even on like hot ass days it's like shady on those spots you can just chill <laughs> 
super fun times at the lake. It's called Kazi Reservoir though, if you want to go check it out. You can camp there too. I'd recommend making reservations. I could probably drop a link where you can make reservations to go camping as well. I wish I had some more footage of some more climbing though. Oh well. <laughs>